Well, it's Saturday, September the 25th. We're over here at Jimmy Rimmel's Barn Show. And he's nice enough. Once a year, he'll have a gathering of all kind of cars. We've got classics. We've got hot rods. We've got some high-end dollar cars here. A little bit of everything. So what I want to do today is maybe just take you around Jimmy's place and show you what we have. When you get here, the first thing you do after parking, you got to go register your car. And these nice ladies that are right in here do the registering. And we'll have to see how many cars they have registered today. So I'm going to ask one of these nice ladies, how many cars do you have registered today? Do you know? I counted 50 emails, so... At least 50. It must be 50 cars in. Well, good. Oh, and we, oh, and there's first prize right there. Canadian whiskey. Love that. <laughs> Have fun. And here's some of Jimmy's cars in here. Some in progress, some not. Jimmy's got. A, Jimmy's a connoisseur of the British variety. Yep. <laughs> so we have those here. But let's look around here and see what we have. We normally get here and have it in Jimmy's barn. We'll go in here and take a little look and see what's up here. Let's go in here. This is a really nice place that he has. Here are the ladies that are working hard serving. And this is Jimmy's barn. Without COVID, we would be right in here, but we're outside today, but that's fine. We love it. We're glad to be here. And how are you nice ladies doing? We are the cooks. The cooks? And who's the chief bottle washer? I see him. <laughs> well, everything went well. We thank you very much for having us. All right, let's go back out here and we'll look around here. What does Jimmy have up on his rack? Uh, we'll just look at that some other time. Got our drink table over here. And we got cars back here in the back. So let's take a little look-see around this way. Let's go this way. Let's go over this way and see. We'll start over at this end. I know this is Jimmy's TR6 over here. We're going to just walk up here and see what we have. Everybody here had a good, we had a good little lunch, got a good little everything. As you can see, and this is Jimmy's TR6, is this a Honda Del Sol? I can't remember. And then that's Jimmy's Corvette right there. All three of these are his. But this little Honda here is, you don't see too many of those. In fact, this TR6 that he has is a nice one too. Okay, let's keep on looking around here. We got people all over the place, not really parked in any type of order, but we've got them here, there, and everywhere. We got everything from a Subaru to a Mercedes. As you can see, everybody's just sitting around having a good time. And the fella in the blue shirt is Jimmy Rommel. We'll have to maybe get a word with him later on. Okay, I'm here with Jimmy Rommel. Jimmy, you've been doing this barn show for how many years? We're in our fourth year. Fourth year. Right. Yep. And so uh, we had to postpone it last year because of COVID. We moved the date. Uh, it was always in May. Mm -hmm. So this coming May, we already had to cancel it again because of COVID. So we 
we tried to move it to September and we pulled it off. Beautiful day. Are you going to keep it in September? Are you going to no, go back and... I don't know. It's a pretty nice day. <laughs> you can't... I mean, it's going to you... be tempting to keep it in September, I'm yeah. telling you. Mm -hmm. may, may keep it yes. in September. We don't know yet. Yeah. We'll have to see. You had a nice turnout today. We had a good turnout. Henry Funeral Home has helped us with it. They've kind of taken the show over. Yeah, tell us about your sponsors today. Our sponsors are Henry Funeral Home. They provided all the food mm -hmm. for us today. And my son, Charlie, is assistant manager there. And uh, I'm getting into the age where I need somebody else to help me with it. So he said he would take it over. Mm -hmm. And then his other sponsors are the people that work in the funeral industry. And they have, they have decided to come in and, and uh, provide some services for us and some sponsorship on it. Oh, great. So it's working out real well for us. Oh, great. You know, we're happy to be here. I'm glad I'm on the attendee list. Well, glad to have you here, guy. You know what? It's been nice. and. Can't, I can't wait for the next one. Well, we had about 55 cars here today. Good, good. And we have some more speakers lined up this afternoon. This morning, who did we have this morning? Let's see, who do we have this morning? Um, we had Russell Schmidt. Mm -hmm. He came up, and, and we had... He, he did the history and of, of, of the ordering C, of a C8, C8 Corvette, Corvette yeah. mm -hmm. and compared it with the C5 Corvette. Mm -hmm. And then we had Scott Balsley with uh, Camp White, who spoke with us. And he's the one with the short... Short, the short truck. Yes. that's right. He had the bus mm -hmm. here. And uh, this afternoon we'll have Brian Rhodes, and he will talk a little bit about the car business, the antique car business, the values, where they're going with, with all this inflationary thing we have with used cars. Mm -hmm. And then if we have time, we're going to have some individuals speak on their individual cars. Okay, good. So good. You already got them lined up? We have, we have Stuart with the, I think it's the 1919 Buick. Oh, Which yeah. A local car, and mm -hmm. he's going to be speaking about that car. Okay, yeah. I so, saw so that. Stick up there. around. I stick will. Around. Well, Joan has a, a she's a, doing a function at church at 6 o'clock this evening. Right. She's providing the meal, so I don't know how long we can stay, but hey, I'm glad I'm here for the time I am. Glad to have you, guys. Jim, thanks a lot. Sure thing. We'll, we'll, well, hey, we'll see you next year. Okay. And that was Jimmy Ronald. Okay. Look over this way. We got the Camp Light short bus. This makes it to a lot of cars. There, there's a fellow that put it together right there in the hat. And look at this caddy right here. Mm -mm. How'd you like to park that? That would be a fun vehicle to park right now. Okay. Yeah, we got a little beetle coming down the road here. Mm -hmm. Parked a little bit of everywhere. Like I say, Jimmy puts this thing on once a year. Didn't have it last year for COVID. We're out here this year, and it's a well-attended little event. So, like I say, we have everything. We even have a Ferrari here. All right, Enzo is here. He, he drove all the way over from Italy. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's walk down through here. Not only do we have a Ferrari, but I think we've got a Mustang that's going to see some duty on the drag strip. Got some 275 drag radials on that, weld wheels. Oh, say I was talking to the gentleman. Rear wheels, $1,179 a piece. And that's just for the wheel. Front's a little cheaper, I think in the 700, 800 variety. When you go on top notch, you go top notch. That's all there is to it. There's a 69 Torino. No 55. 
Gardens. What have we here? It says gazelle. I wonder if it's as fast as a gazelle. We'll find out. Yeah, here's a little firebird. 67 firebird. Nice little car. You over here. Corvette land. They seem to be parked a little bit everywhere. We'll go down here to see what we have. Mm, okay, let's walk up this way. That old convertible beamer over here. And we got an XKE. Or some people call them, I call them XKEs. Some people call them E types, whatever. It doesn't matter, it's all the same. There's an old Ford. Okay, inboard headlights on this it's a TR3. Mm -hmm. okay. People are all looking from underneath the trees. It's a nice day today. We've had some weather that has not been the best, but we're lucky enough today to have a really, really nice day. So we'll just keep on walking around here, see who we have and where. Let's go on up this way. Come on! You guys are killing me, really? Another little Porsche. Porsche with a bra. Not really enthused about bras, but that's okay. Bras are not for cars. We got, oh, here's a Corvette wannabe. Beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you say about fifty cars? I can't beat that. And here is John Carpenter's Corvette. John, I think, if I'm, memory serves me right, he was a judge for Bloomington Gold. I asked him one time, and I think that's what he kind of alluded to. So, when I have a question about, gee, is this thing NOS or not, John will give me some good information. Okay, well, just pan around here a little bit. Nice little gathering today. Jim has these once a year. Just invites his friends. I'm lucky enough to be one of his friends. I don't know how I got on the list. I want to stay on the list. Well, anyway, that does it for Jim's barn car show. Call it the barn show. Only because of the barn that he has renovated into a nice little area. But everything is nice here. Here we are in the hills of Virginia. Let's see, here was Tana. And this is where Jimmy lives, up there. He built that house oh, about three or four years ago. His dad lived right down there on top of that, just over that Corvette. That's, was it a 60, I don't know, it's got a 60, it's got a Stinger hood, which is a 67 hood. Don't believe it's a 67, but who knows. Anyway, we're right down here. In Stanton, Virginia, beautiful weather today. Well, that's about it. Hope everybody had a good time. I'm glad I get, got to show you some of these cars. And I think next time we're going to be out at Eastside Speedway Saturday, 
October the 2nd for the Nostalgia Drag Races and their show. And then Sunday, August or October the 3rd, we're going to be out to Craigsville for Sarah's Burgers and Shakes cruise in. And that's a real nice little thing. Kind of quaint out there. Now, they don't have a very big parking lot. They'll be lucky to get 30 cars in that parking lot. They have to park them on the city streets and things like that. But that's where we'll be going then. So anyway, until we see you guys again, signing off for now. And like I say, if you like this video, hey, hit the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Vet Guy. And until then, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.